When you think of the edge of the universe, what do you see? For most of us, it's a picture painted by science fiction, some kind of cosmic wall, a final frontier at the very end of everything, an absolute limit. But what if that picture, the one we've held for centuries, is just fundamentally wrong? The James Webb Space Telescope has just delivered data that has scientists scrambling to rewrite our cosmic playbook. The images flooding in are painting a shocking new picture. The edge of the universe isn't a place you can go to. It's a moment in time. And what we're finding there, at the dawn of creation, is defying everything we thought we knew. The story of how our universe began is being torn up and rewritten before our eyes. And it's far stranger than we ever imagined. To get why this is so radical, you first have to remember the old story. For almost a hundred years, we've built our understanding of the cosmos on the Big Bang. Not an explosion in space, but an explosion of space. About 13.8 billion years ago, everything, all matter, energy, space, and time, was crushed into a single, hot, dense point. A singularity. From that instant, it started expanding. The classic analogy is a balloon. Draw dots on its surface, and as you inflate it, the dots themselves don't grow, but the space between them stretches. Every dot moves away from every other dot. That's our universe. Galaxies aren't just flying through empty space. The fabric of space-time itself is expanding, carrying them with it. This created a natural boundary to what we can see. Since the universe has a finite age, there's a hard limit to how far light has had time to travel to reach us. This is the observable universe, and its edge is what we called the cosmic light horizon. For decades, the story was simple. As we built better telescopes, we'd look closer to that edge and see the universe's baby pictures. Small, simple, wispy galaxies the first sparks of a cosmic firework. It was a neat, predictable story. But as it turns out, the universe isn't a fan of neat stories. Enter the hero of our new story, the James Webb Space Telescope. And let's be clear, this isn't just a bigger Hubble. JWST has a superpower. It sees the universe in infrared light. This is the game changer. As space expands, the light traveling through it gets stretched into longer, redder wavelengths. We call it redshift. Light from the most ancient, distant objects has been stretched so much it's completely invisible to our eyes, and even to Hubble. It's been redshifted all the way into the infrared. So, where Hubble showed us the universe's teenage and adult years, JWST was built to see its infancy. It's a time machine designed to capture the faint, ancient glow of the very first stars and galaxies. Scientists knew it would fill in some gaps. What they didn't expect was that it wouldn't just fill gaps. It would blow gaping holes in the foundation of what we thought we knew. Almost immediately, JWST started a firestorm. It stared at what we thought were empty patches of sky and found them teeming with ancient galaxies. But there was a huge problem. According to our standard models, the first galaxies should be small, messy, and disorganized. Gravity is supposed to be a slow, patient process. It should take hundreds of millions, if not billions, of years to pull enough gas together to build large, structured galaxies. Yet, JWST was finding the cosmic equivalent of newborns that were already fully grown adults. It spotted massive, well-formed galaxies shining brightly just 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang. Some of these cosmic metropolises appear nearly as large as our own Milky Way, a size they simply shouldn't have reached so fast. It's like building a skyscraper overnight. We just do not know how to make that happen. The surprises didn't stop. 
Then there were the black holes. Our model said supermassive black holes grow over eons, slowly feeding on stars and gas. But Webb found monster black holes already in place when the universe was shockingly young. An international team using Webb recently confirmed the most distant black hole ever seen, dating to just 500 million years after the Big Bang, discovered inside a little red dot galaxy. These early black holes are disproportionately massive compared to their host galaxies, far larger than our theories can account for in such a short amount of time. Let that sink in. Everything, galaxies, black holes, massive cosmic structures, seems to have formed faster than time should have allowed. It points to a disturbing conclusion. Our timeline is wrong. Something fundamental in our model of the universe is missing. This journey into the unknown is exactly what science is about, challenging everything we think we know. If you find this as fascinating as I do, hit subscribe now. We dive deep into the mysteries that are reshaping our reality. This flood of impossible data is forcing us to rethink the most basic question. What is the edge we're even looking at? We imagined it as a physical boundary, but the real picture from Webb is completely different. The edge of the universe is not a wall. It is a horizon in time. Think of it like being on a ship at sea. Your horizon is the limit of your vision, but it's not the edge of the world. Sail towards it, and it just moves with you. The cosmic horizon is limited by the speed of light and the age of the universe. The light from the most distant galaxy Webb can see, a record breaker named MOM Z14, traveled for over 13.5 billion years to reach us. We are seeing it as it was just 280 million years after the Big Bang. We literally cannot see anything before that because no light from an earlier time has had a chance to reach us yet. That is the true edge, the dawn of time itself. This also solves a cosmic riddle. If the universe is 13.8 billion years old, why is the observable universe about 92 billion light years across? Because while that ancient light was traveling to us, space itself was expanding. The galaxy that sent that light is now thanks to cosmic expansion, roughly 46 billion light years away from us. Since that's true in every direction, we sit inside a 92 billion light year bubble of what we can see. So when we say Webb is looking at the edge of the universe, we don't mean the edge of existence. The universe could be infinite. We mean Webb is staring at our cosmic time horizon, witnessing the beginning of time. These discoveries have thrown open the doors to the most profound and mind-bending questions in science. If our standard model is broken, what replaces it? The entire field of cosmology is buzzing with radical ideas. One of the biggest problems JWST has sharpened is the Hubble tension. For years, we've had two conflicting measurements for how fast the universe is expanding. Measurements from the early universe, the Big Bang's afterglow, give one number, while measurements of the local, modern universe give a faster one. The debate is a cosmic tug of war. Recent JWST data has been used by different teams to argue both sides, with some claiming the tension is resolved and others insisting it's stronger than ever, pointing to a potential crisis in cosmology. This might be a sign of a flaw in our models. Maybe there's a new force of nature or our ideas about dark energy are wrong. The impossibly large early structures have also given new life to alternative theories. Some scientists are looking again at ideas like modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, which suggests gravity might work differently on huge scales, possibly even getting rid of the need for dark matter. Others are proposing that the early universe wasn't uniform at all, that structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, a cosmic behemoth spanning an unbelievable 10 billion light years, are evidence that the universe is lopsided in ways that defy our most basic assumptions. These discoveries are forcing us to confront the biggest questions we can ask. What's beyond our cosmic horizon? If the universe is infinite, are there infinite copies of you out there? If the laws of physics were different at the beginning, what does that mean for the end? 
The neat, orderly picture of the cosmos is gone, replaced by a wild, chaotic, and mysterious one. And that is so much more exciting. The James Webb Space Telescope has done more than take pretty pictures. It's a time machine that has shown us that our origin story is not what we thought. The edge of the universe is not a wall in space, but a boundary in time. And at that boundary, we're seeing a universe that grew up far too fast, breaking all the rules we wrote for it. We are in the middle of a cosmological revolution. As Webb continues its mission, new observatories are getting ready to join the hunt. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, set to launch by 2027, will complement Webb's work by creating massive 3D maps of the cosmos to tackle the mystery of dark energy and the universe's expansion. We are the first generation to see a real, data-driven picture of our cosmic dawn. The edge of the universe isn't an end. It's a beginning, both for the cosmos itself and for our journey to understand our place within it. What do you think is the most mind-blowing discovery from Webb so far? Is our universe just one of many? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to stay on the cutting edge of these discoveries, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.